Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everyone, and oh boy, we got a rumor. But it's coming from a trust sources, and I'll explain that as we get into this uh, article from Bounding in the Comics. And boy, it is, it is a doozy. It shows just how bad things are at Lucasfilm. Now, the rumor is that Kathleen Kennedy has been banned from the set of Season 2 Mandalorian. Let me tell you guys this. If she is banned from the set of a production that is taking place and is being done by the company that she is currently running, that goes to tell you just how m much turmoil and division there is in Lucasfilm. Let's face it, folks, Kathleen Kennedy has been mismanaging Star Wars for a while. She can be the link to many of the bad decisions made. Now, I mean, I could go over all of them, if, but it would literally take a year just to do so. So we're just going to tackle this. Now, again, this is a rumor. Take it with a grain of salt. But, like I said, these are trusted uh, sources from the YouTuber who did the initial reveal. Or the initial, or who reported on the initial rumor. So let's get into it. A new rumor details that Lucasfilm President Kathleen Kennedy has been banned from the set of The Mandalorian Season 2. The rumor comes from YouTuber Doomcock. Hey, old Doomcock. Who tells his viewers, I have some alleged leaks straight from the Mandalorian production regarding Kathleen Kennedy and the future of Lucasfilm. He adds, the information comes to me via a brand new source, albeit a source I have known for some time now. A friendly source I have no reason to suspect would feed me false information. All that said, please treat this information as rumor pending further confirmation. So I will give you guys. If there is further report on it, I will keep you guys updated. He continues, I am informed by this source, who is directly tied to people with close knowledge of The Mandalorian Season 2, that they are currently shooting Season 2 of The Mandalorian, and that Kathleen Kennedy has been banned from the set. He uses that word sp specifically, banned. Meaning she is not allowed on set, which is pretty nuts. He adds, I repeat, according to this rumor obtained directly from the sources with direct knowledge of the production, she has been banned from the Mandalorian set. Doomcock then details that Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni will take control of Lucasfilm. I am informed that David Filoni and Jon Favreau are in the process of seizing control of Lucasfilm. Ho oh, ho this is great news. He If it's true, he continues... As much as two weeks ago, I might have doubted the credibility of this information. However, this rumor dovetails neatly with reporting from Midnight's Edge regarding the current state of Lucasfilm. On February 1st, ooh, my birthday, they posted a video citing a rumor from Pinewood Studios that Kathleen Kennedy was heading out the door for early retirement, citing leaked ale alleged or leaked messages to directors of Obi-Wan television show that they could expect to be dealing with someone other than Kennedy in the near future. I believe I did a video on that. Yes, I did. Uh, Midnight's Edge originally reported the talk around Pinewood Studios is that Kathleen Kennedy is heading out the door for early retirement. And they added a text message received confirmed Obi-Wan Kenobi's directors were told they can expect to be dealing with someone new in the near future, possibly within a matter of months. Doomcock believes this rumor confirms Midnight's Edge's previous reporting. This information from my source would seem to confirm Midnight Edge's reporting, which should come as no surprise to anyone as their meticulous reporting and keeps or and past track record. It is true. Midnight's Edge has been fairly consistent. However, he believes Midnight's Edge report might have actually understated what is happening behind Lucas 
or behind the scenes at Lucasfilm. As it turns out, however, if my source is correct, they may have understated the severity of what is going on behind the scenes of Lucasfilm. The notion of early retirement seems quite benign in comparison to actually being banned from the set of production reportedly under Kennedy's authority as head of Lucasfilm. He adds, if Kennedy has been banned from the Mandalorian set, this suggests not only a loss of power for Kennedy, but an actual state of hostility inside Lucasfilm that could be characterized as civil war. Fair assessment. This isn't the first time we've seen a rumor that indicated Kennedy was in trouble at Lucasfilm, making Star Wars Jason's or Star Wars' Jason Ward reported back in October that Kennedy would step down as Lucasfilm president following the release of the fifth Indiana Jones film. However, he indicated she would stay on as producer for Star Wars, or for future Star Wars. He also detailed that Marvel Studios boss Kevin Feige would restructure Lucasfilm with separate divisions run by other people. I really don't like the idea of Ke Kevin Feige getting his hands on Lucasfilm. It's just not a good idea. After Disney announced that Feige would be producing a Star Wars film back in September 2019, many speculated that this was Disney signaling that Kennedy was on the way out. Star Wars fan and reporter Orion, Orion Johnson theorized that move was a pink slip for Kennedy. If you are a president of a division of a company and the CEO takes president of a more successful division get and gives them your resources, personal or personnel, and your IP, and has them answer to someone higher than you in the organization, I hate to tell you this, but you've been demoted. This happened, or this is what happened to Kennedy last night. Her three-year contract has two years left, and it will expire in 2021. Maybe more importantly, as Doomcock, and as Doomcock points out later in his video, is the production delay of Obi-Wan Kenobi Disney Plus series could be a clear indicator that there are some internal changes happening at Lucasfilm. Collider originally reported the series was put on hold and that the crew had assembled at Pinewood was sent home. After this initial report, actor Ewan McGregor, who admitted to lying for four years that he was not reprising his role as Obi-Wan Kenobi, attempted to assu or assu assuage fears, I hate that word, that there was trouble with the show in Lucasfilm. He told IGN, it's just slid to next year, that's all. The scripts were really good. I think now that episode 9 came out and everyone at Lucasfilm got more time to spend on the writing, they felt they wanted more time to spend on the writing. He added, I've really, or I've read about 80-90% of what they've written so far, and it's really, really good. Instead of shooting this August, they just wanted to start shooting in January. That's all. No more dramatic than that. It only hap it often happens in projects. They just wanted to push it to next year. Yeah, the thing is, I don't really trust uh, Ewan McGregor. I mean, as much as he was very good at, as Obi-Wan Kenobi in the prequel trilogy he's an asshole off screen he really is um pushing it into next year means the production begins in 2021 the year kathleen kennedy's contract expires not only are there reported troubles in the kenobi series but a recent rumor indicates that rogue one spinoff series starring diego luna's cassian andor and alan tudyk's k or k2so is also facing issues and has been delayed However, the biggest piece of evidence, in my mind, is that there is internal strife at Lucasfilm. It comes from Disney CEO Bob Iger during the recent investors' call. While discussing the future of Star Wars, Star Wars Iger noted it would be on Disney+, Plus and that they are looking at possibi or possibly creating a Mandalorian TV universe. Iger stated, the priority in the next few years is television with the Mandalorian Season 2 coming out in October, and then more coming from the Mandalorian thereafter, including the possibility of infusing it with more characters and the possibility of taking those characters in their own directions in terms of series. Iger did touch on the Rogue One spinoff in the Kenobi series, but they appear to be afterthoughts compared to Disney's plans for the Mandalorian. And then we have the prequel Rogue One and Kenobi series also in development. CEO would then 
iterate their focus would be on TV. So the priority for Star Wars in the short term is going to be, I'll call it television for Disney+. Plus. And then we will have more to say about developmental or development of theatrical soon after. Wow, this goes on. Um, the focus that focus on TV is more than likely to direct result of the failures of Disney Star Wars movies, movies that Kathleen Kennedy, as Lucasfilm president, was ultimately in charge of. Not only was the president of Lucasfilm during the release of the films, but Collider's editor-in-chief, Stephen Weintraub, indicated back in January following the release of Rise of Skywalker that Kennedy and Michelle Rejwan were the ones to blame for the film's disappointing box office. Weintraub wrote, Learned a lot in the past few days about the behind-the-scenes at Lucasfilm. A lot of the blame on the Rise of Skywalker falls on Kathleen Kennedy and Michelle Rejwan. Might do a story saying or might do a story, saying that it was J.J. who came up with bringing back Palpatine, which was a huge mistake. Both Kennedy, or both Kenobi and Rogue One spinoff getting delayed, Iger's comments on focusing on The Mandalorian, the box office disappointment on Rise of Skywalker, and the direction Disney went with Star Wars, and the fan reception to it definitely lend credence to these rumors that there are some changes being made at Lucasfilm, and one of the big ones could be Kathleen Kennedy. What do you make of this new rumor? Do you think Kathleen Kennedy was barred or banned from the Mandalorian set? Do you think she's on her way out at Lucasfilm? I hope to God she is. I mean, this woman has been a thorn in the side of many Star Wars fans. She has been pushing identity politics in movies in all the wrong ways and all the worst ways, and I don't care it, about the fact that she is a woman. It has nothing to do with the fact she's a woman. It has to do with the fact that she is a lying trash, or a piece of trash. It's just, this woman has lied to the public. I mean, Japan's thing during the Rise of Skywalker, somebody asked her about the treatments that Lucas came up with for 7, 8, and 9. We had no original content to draw from. Was the EU a joke to you, bitch? Yes, I called Kathleen Kennedy a bitch. I'm sorry, folks. She is a bitch. And I think that she does need to be fired. Not let go. Not retire. Fired. From Lucasfilm. And I, if they do give it to somebody, give it to somebody who is competent, like John Favreau and Dave Filoni. Allow George Lucas to come in and freaking put out the dumpster fire that is current Star Wars. With exception of Mandalorian and, so far, Episode 1 of Clone Wars. Because, like I said, or like I am going to point out later on in a live stream, I did not get a feel of the thumbprint from Disney in the first episode when I saw it earlier this morning. Anyway, folks, that is the video. Y'all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this. Do you think she is on her way out? Do you, or what do you take on the rumor that she has been banned from the set of The Mandalorian? Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments section below. This has been Orange Hat Reviews. And oh my God, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will catch you all on the next one.